it's Tuesday. We are sitting in the park early in the morning eating bagels. I got my usual uh, everything bagel with veggie cream cheese. What'd you get, Vince? I got scallion cream cheese on everything bagel. Yummy. You want to see something funny? Look at my shoe. <gasps> oh no. Luckily they're waterproof and you have a napkin, so we're gonna be okay. We got this. Everything's gonna be <laughs> everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go take pictures. Funny story, we woke up at 6.30 like usual and we actually were out of the house at 8 o'clock. Got all the way out here and we realized the camera battery was about to die. So we managed to get a couple pictures, but not much. So we decided to go back home. We got on better clothes for the weather because it turns out it's like 75 degrees today. It's, is this even November? So we're, we, we had to do a redo, but we needed food at that point because we'd been out for so long. So everything's fine, everything's fine. Um, I just wanna show you this park. It's up by, right by our house, and it's one that we discovered recently, and it's so nice. In the afternoons, it's full of like families with kids and dogs and stuff, but right now it's really quiet. And it's just gorgeous, look. It's just like, ugh. Oh, it's so peaceful and pretty, and you have all these like gorgeous fall leaves happening. It was there Sunday, and literally there were people selling hammocks in between trees, so it's so nice. Oh yeah, it's like the a total community hangout spot that we didn't even know existed. So that was that that was nice to discover. Okay, I'm gonna eat this bagel because it's getting cold and I'm just talking to you. Gross. Hello guys, it is what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Damn. Um I feel like poop today. I had a really hard time getting out of bed because I had a terrible headache. I'm having a bad breakout, probably for not washing my face consistently enough after wearing a mask. And it's rainy outside and our opera singer neighbor is singing an extra annoying song today. <laughs> yes, that one. Anyway, it just feels like a hard day. So, I'm making meringues because that sounded fun and I found a recipe for pumpkin spice meringues, so um, I decided that's what I'm doing right now. There you go. You can witness it. Um, I'm actually just going to be watching Great British Baking Show while I do this. That's why I, I've been craving meringues, I think. Vincent's about to eat a piece of pumpkin pie. You've been caught! <laughs> just kidding. I've been, okay. uh, I've been hot. I've been bamboozled. I'm not mad at him about it. Okay. So I figured I would just let you watch, I guess. I don't know. I don't really feel like I have the energy or desire to talk you through it, but okay, let's do this. I'm excited. I'm actually really craving these. time now I just wanted to show you how the meringues turned out I accidentally turned the oven off too soon at first so they got like a little wrinkly on the top but overall I think they look pretty delicious basically if you wanted to make these very simple you just look up like any basic vanilla meringue recipe. You just use, you know, I, what I did is I did half of a recipe that I found so it was like literally two egg whites, half a cup of sugar, um, an eighth teaspoon of cream of tartar, a pinch of salt, and then um, a fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. That's literally all they are. Delish, um, just a nice little treat. And they're, I mean, it's pure sugar. So they're not, I wouldn't call them like a low calorie treat, but because they're also mostly air, if you only eat like a couple of them, they are technically low calorie, which is nice. Um, now we are making quinoa. I cooked that with a little bit of turmeric, garlic, salt, and pepper in the pan. And then we've also got some zucchini sizzling away in there. I just did, woof, that's very foggy. I just did like olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, a little cayenne pepper, basil on top of the zucchini. And I just like cut them in half. So we each have like two big slabs of zucchini essentially. Um, once they're pretty much roasted, I'm gonna put some Parmesan on top. So that's dinner, key one, zucchini. <laughs> um, we were gonna do salmon, but I decided to just put a couple salmon fillets, because they were still frozen. I decided to put some in the fridge tonight for tomorrow. And then we also, this has like kind of been a big baking day actually. Um, that's why I'm sharing with you all this because that's 
basically all I did today. Um, but we've also got a bunch of chickpeas soaking. I'm gonna make more of like the beanie breakfast that I've been posting about on Instagram every once in a while. That's two 16 ounce bags of chickpeas or garbanzo beans, depending on what part of the country you're from. But literally just soak them for the whole day. And then tonight I will put them in the crock pot for the overnight cook. And then in the morning we'll add herbs on top and have like delicious brothy breakfast beans. It's like been our favorite breakfast lately just because it's so healthy and it's very nourishing with like lots of proteiny beans, lots of fibrous proteiny beans. And then brothy, it's so good. And then the herbs, you get like the green. Anyway, that's been our favorite breakfast. So I might show you how we make that tomorrow. Maybe this will just be like a what we're eating food <laughs> themed vlog. Cause uh, I've just been home. It's started to rain outside. So it's been a nice day to just like hang out in the warm, cozy kitchen. I've been watching Great British Baking Show. So it's been a good time. Do I get quinoa on my beard? No, you're good. I almost forgot to show it. I always do this. I already started cutting into it, but quinoa, zucchini. It doesn't look that great because the Parmesan doesn't melt really pretty, but it tastes so good. Tastes so good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> Very satisfying. Good. All right, Vincent finished his classes. We're about to get ready for bed, but I wanted to show you um, what we just took a few minutes to prep. Beans. <laughs> so we put all of them in here. I added about six cups of water and you're supposed to do for um, bouillon, you wanna do like one teaspoon per cup. So I did about six teaspoons of bouillon, um, a couple generous little spoonfuls of garlic and then a lot of salt and pepper. And these, I put them on low and they're just gonna literally cook on low all night long. And in the morning, we will chop up. We have um, scallions and parsley and cilantro. And we will chop all of those up and have fresh herbs to go on top of our beans. So there you go. I know that's probably weird, but it's honestly so good. <laughs> so I guess this will be kind of a food related vlog. I can't remember if I mentioned getting the Christmas tree out. I did want to get the Christmas tree out. That was the original plan, but here's the deal. We've had a ton of like really warm days lately, like unseasonably warm weather. It's been in the 70s. It was in the 70s again today, and it has been for the last few weeks, which is super weird for this time of year, but that means that we can't really take our AC units out yet because we still use them at night when we're sleeping to just like make sure that the air is circulating because when it's when it's in the 60s at night it's still not really like cold enough to not need that air when we sleep so that being said we might have to wait another week to put the christmas tree up i know it's kind of a bummer but also it's a lot of work to do it so i'm kind of okay with maybe waiting until like next week early next week but yeah okay cool I'm just letting you know because that was what this vlog was going to be about, but do, 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 do. <laughs> but if we're not doing that, you know, anyway, okay, cool. So I'm going to get ready for bed. See you guys tomorrow. Bisous. <laughs> Hello guys. It is Saturday. I did not end up filming anything yesterday because it was just raining all day. Like we didn't even end up really taking a walk except to go get Thai food for dinner. So there wasn't much to share, but... I did get my vlog out on the day that it was supposed to go out, just barely, just, just scraped by right under that deadline. Um, so that felt good. I am majorly breaking out, so I've got one of these going on. Literally, my acne has never been worse, and it's so frustrating. Like, I'm a 26-year-old woman. We are going downtown, which is why I wanted to just cover this really bad one. Pro tip, if you know you're going to be wearing a mask for a long time during the day, and you have, like, a really bad breakout... Um, just cover it so that all of that like hot breath that you're breathing back onto your skin isn't getting all up in your acne, which will definitely make it worse. Hot, moist environments, that's like exactly bacteria's dream. So there's a pro tip for you there. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm brave enough to like wear this out today because um, I just hate the idea of people looking at my face. So to counteract that, I decided I am going to go full blogger with a fun, interesting outfit. I am just waiting for my hair to dry a little more and then I'm gonna blow dry it so that I have killer hair. Like we're just not gonna worry about our skin. We're now what? We're gonna distract, we're gonna feel good in the rest of us so that our skin feels like no big deal, right? That's the goal, okay. I think 
can focus on the book if not. Remember, you have two hours basically on the train to listen to Yeah, I only have one hour left. <laughs> Save it for the train! Okay, got distracted talking to Vincent. My hair has now reached the perfect level of dry-ish for blow drying, so I'm gonna take a break and blow dry my hair, and I'll come back in a moment. difference like nicely styled hair makes when you are not confident about your face. <laughs> I'll just cover it up with my really fabulous hair. Pie for breakfast at noon because it is that time of year and I don't want to hear any judgment from any of you, okay? Now I am going to make up our soup for the night. I figured I would show you what we're making um, as I go. It's easier than explaining it. Um, Plus, talking is boring, so just follow along with me. <laughs> so first, I gotta chop up all of these veggies. I don't really need to chop up the mushrooms. I think I'm just gonna leave them whole. And then I have this Mirapaw mix that is also pre-chopped, so there isn't a whole bunch of chopping to do, just the right amount. Okay, we've got mushrooms, potatoes, carrots in the crock pot. Now, I'm gonna very quickly saute this mirepoix and add a ton of spices, um, and then throw that in the crock pot with the bone broth, etc. and then we'll be off and running. Um, Vincent is about to start his class though, so I won't be talking anymore. You can just watch me do this, I suppose. <laughs> Clip the quiet. Alright, we are almost ready to leave, so I just want to show you what I'm wearing. We're kind of branching out today. These are the trousers that I found at the thrift store. They are super comfy. They were a slight bit too long for me, so I literally just hemmed them really quickly, <laughs> made them like one fold shorter. And then otherwise you just got like a turtleneck, teddy coat, just like a little belt and then a bag to match the belt. Put a little... I must say, I feel very good in these pants. Are you ready? I heard that. <laughs> Are you so excited to go out? Me too. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Glad you brought your coat. Uh huh. A little bit chilly. Yes. It is kind of chilly. Walking <laughs> Just heading downtown. We're gonna go to Zara and maybe Trader Joe's wine shop. We're not 100% sure what else yet, but we just want to do some walking. So I think that this will be good. A nice little break from our very busy week. You don't say, that was busy. I'm proud of you for getting everything done though. Thank you. You're awesome. Might be wondering about my change in wardrobe. Whoa! Yeah. I just have a big backpack, so she just gets to bring like two or three. I belts. bring lots of outfits. Just kidding. Do you want to go up or down? Uh, don't okay. go up. Unless you don't want to. No, no, no. That's a good idea. Okay. I just feel like I miss it almost. You know. Um. I need to put my mask back on because we're downtown. Here's the deal. That 
brown coat that I was wearing. As much as I like it. I also bought it for $10 at Marshall's. And you could tell, like it was on its very last leg. It was like so matted and it also didn't have an inner lining. It was just like, it was like the fluffy stuff all the way around. So, you know, on the inside, it got really super worn in also. Not cute. So we just went to Zara and I bought this coat instead. Showed him. Hello. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure if I was centered or not. <laughs> no, yeah, I could see myself. You're good. That would have been a tragedy. A tragedy. No, we got it. We got the shot. Um, it's, it's, you don't feel <laughs> the right way. So uh, I got a new, I got a new teddy coat. I, this one is about. I'll, I'll show you everything when we get home too. But um, I also got a leather jacket that is super cute, and I got it all for like $120. It was a good deal. And um, there you go. Now we're gonna walk. We're on Fifth Avenue, walking up to really towards the park right now. We really need a little pick me up though. As you can tell, it's already dark. It's only like five o'clock. What time is it? It's literally five, five o'clock, right? Five o'clock, five twenty. Yeah. So it's very dark already. We're gonna try to find some cool spots for nighttime shots nice. and get a snack well, and maybe some coffee. Lady. This right there. Ooh. You want a Starbucks? Yeah, let's do Starbucks. We're gonna do Starbucks. Okay, here we go. Where are we? We are right across from the Rockefeller building. <gasps> Look, there's the tree. They're putting it up. Nobody gets to enjoy it this year, but. It's kind of sad. And Saks Fifth Avenue is doing their lights too. They also have boards on all the windows, but you know. Guys, <laughs> I just got yelled at as I was coming into the train station. Some random lady started, yeah, I don't know, I'm not right Some random lady started yelling at me about my big pants. I guess she didn't like them. If she had voted on my Instagram story today that I posted asking if I could wear this look or not, if I could pull it off, she would have voted no. And you know what I say to the haters? Actually, I don't know what I say to the haters. I mostly just ignore them. Your voice does matter, but hers, it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you. We love that. Um, yeah, that was super weird. She, she yelled at me, when am I going to be in the next Monsters movie with my giant pants? There's lots of F words also, which I'm not going to repeat. The worst, and the worst thing about it is that like she's saying that, but she was like dressed in all black, like most cliche beret, and like the longest skirt that goes past her knees. Like, you know, just looking straight from like either the 60s or... The, or something like that. Somewhere not cute. Yeah. She just really didn't like my big pants. She thought I looked ridiculous. She yelled at me about it. I don't know. Welcome to New York. Gotta grow a thick skin to live here. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Bye. We just got home. Um, first of all, I have some very exciting news. As that lady was yelling at me about my pants, I got a notification from Depop that someone bought an item. So made my first sale on Depop. It was literally $12 and I've never felt more excited about anything in my life. Best $12 I've ever earned. <laughs> um, okay, so then we got home and I immediately made some dumplings to put in the soup. They are very much not fitting in my crock pot because the soup was already very full to begin with, but that's okay. We're just, we're working with what we got here. Um, we got dumplings. And then I also, in the mail, got a package from my dad. He just moved, so he was going through old stuff. And I've been really wanting to play with film um, cameras, and we didn't really want to buy one because we don't know if it's going to be our thing, but we just thought it'd be fun to play with. And I love the idea of like having something that I can just snap pictures on and just like not know how they're going to turn out. Like something about that is really exciting to me. Ooh, timer. Okay. I think all that is so exciting to me. So, um, I told my dad if he found any old cameras to send them to me if he didn't want them, and he didn't, so he sent me this. <laughs> the Pocket Zoom by Chinon. I don't even know what brand that is. 30 to 60 millimeter lens. It already has film in it and a battery from 2015, so I think I'm gonna need to get a new battery for it because it's not turning on. Hopefully it will turn on with a new battery. Um, but yeah, this is very cute and fun. I hope that this works. My dad said that this is the camera that like 
all of our childhood pictures were taken on like all the pictures from when I was little with my sister um this is the guy that did it so ah, I can't wait to play with it it's gonna be so fun perfect way to try out film camera <sighs> got it for free childhood memory okay cool so that was the timer for the dumplings I'm gonna see I think they might need a few more minutes because the soup wasn't like boiling obviously which normally you'd put dumplings into boiling soup but it's been in the crock pot all day so it's obviously very hot in there anyway okay i gotta figure that out we're gonna we're gonna see how they look maybe i'll show you i move i put the liner up so that it doesn't overflow because like it's close to overflowing oh it's literally just like a layer of delicious dough okay they definitely need more time i don't know if this was a good idea this might have been a bad idea okay i think i'm gonna turn them all over and we're just gonna turn them all over and then hopefully they'll finish cooking like that. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, luckily the bottoms were all cooked, so it's just like getting the top a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more cooked through. Okay, I feel very excited and like I have so many things that I wanna do, but I also need to let myself rest tonight because I did have a long day. I made soup and I cleaned up my bedroom and I've been vlogging a lot and then we took this long walk. We walked all the way up from 42nd Street up to Columbus Circle again we chopped um so i think i'm gonna try to force myself to take it slow tonight and then tomorrow is a long full day of podcasting and all this other stuff and we're also going to hang out with our friends that we had over for election night like the french couple well french guy american girl um they live in our neighborhood so they invited us over for dinner tomorrow night and he's a french chef and he's supplying all the food so i'm very excited um, but we got to get like a couple bottles of wine tomorrow to bring and we got to drop off that I'm talking too much. Can you tell? My brain is like... Okay, in the few minutes that I have until our soup is truly done, dumplings and all, I figured I would show you what I got from Zara. Um, I was thinking about waiting until tomorrow for this because the lighting's not gonna be great, but it doesn't matter. You'll see me in these clothes like as time goes on anyway. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's not that serious. Okay, so first of all, this new jacket that you saw earlier um, is so cute. I like that it has buttons and not like a zipper or anything. These leather pockets are nice. They're pretty big. It's got this cool little leather bit. And I just think that it's like, it's really fun. It's a good length for, you know, everyday wear with jeans, all that kind of stuff. So this is a, this was a good find. Very cute. And it's got like a nice lining. It's pretty heavy and it's extremely soft. And it was... $70. It was like 69 something. Okay, so here's the other thing that I got. It is honestly like very outside of my comfort zone, but it just kind of felt right. I don't know. So it's this really cool leather jacket. Um, It's, you know, a little shorter than knee length. It's got this really cool um, elastic on the back with ties that just kind of hang out there. And I love the sleeves. Like they're really cool kind of a little bit more billowy sleeves. They're just designed big, which is great for layering with like sweaters and things. Um, yeah, I just think it looks really cool. Let me tie it just a sec. Okay, I mean, it just like, it just has such a great shape. I don't know. So there you go. It's a, uh, I think it's nice. I'm just all in all, so grateful to you guys for like following me on YouTube and Instagram and all the things because you are what make it possible for me to, you know, get back into fashion again and be excited about going out into the city and just all the things that really make me honestly the happiest. Um, I wouldn't really have an excuse to do as often as I get to do if it wasn't for you. So I love you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm just going to stand here by these dumplings until they're done because I'm really hungry. So I'll show you my bowl of soup when it's done. It smells divine. All right, soup is served. Literally, guys, I think this soup is special. I am so proud of like, oh, that's loud. Can you, I added a lot of really good spices, but I think what makes this soup special, especially with dumplings, is that I added allspice. It just makes it like smell very fall, very holiday, yes, right? So yeah, and also these dumplings are massive. They're way too big. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye -bye. <laughs> I made them huge on accident, but that's okay. At least they puffed up the way they're supposed to. Okay, so we're gonna watch the Great British Baking Show and relax because it is what time is it? 
it's almost eight o'clock and we both have again kind of a long day tomorrow vincent's got to film i've got to get that package shipped off for my customer on depop and i gotta record a podcast i got a lot to do so mm -hmm. we're gonna hang out love you guys see you tomorrow okay this is like i mean it looks pretty good i know you can't see it but i'll show you in a sec <laughs> okay that looks like literal dog food but it smells good <laughs> I don't know why I feel nervous. Why do I feel nervous? Someone explain that to me. Mm. Okay, that's actually really good. It's like a little sweeter and hotter at the same time.